As the boy sat alone in his room, he couldn't help but feel a deep sense of sadness. He had just lost his parents in a tragic accident, and the weight of their absence was almost too much to bear. He felt utterly alone in the world, and the thought of facing life without them was almost unbearable. And to make matters worse, I have absolutely nothing fun planned for the upcoming month of March. It seems like everyone else, well, they all have these exciting plans and adventures to look forward to. But me, I'm left with nothing. Nothing but an empty calendar in an empty parent's bedroom. Because my parents are dead. I basically feel like I have lost all sense of purpose and direction in life. And I'm just a kid. I feel like, like I'm like several phantoms of the opera wrapped into one. The sad boy sat on the bench with his head down, tears streaming down his face. As he sat there, a man approached him and offered to help him. Hey sad kid, I think I can solve both those problems for you. With a little glimmer of hope in his eyes, the boy looked up at the man. Wait, really? You can bring my parents back to life? Oh shit, no, actually, actually no, I can't do that. My bad. Um, I didn't catch that part, I just caught the part about you needing some fun things to do in March. Can I, um, I can help with that part, but, uh, bringing your parents back from the dead, I can't do that, nor would I if I could. The boy closed his eyes and thought of all the happy memories he had with his parents. He thought of all the times they played together, and the way his dad would always greet him with a wagging tail at the door. Once he had all the memories in focus, he shook his head really fast, and the memories of his parents were flung out of his head and into the ether. Smiling, he opened his eyes and looked up at the man. Okay, now I truly only care about finding fun things to do in March. <laughs> What's poppin', my guy? The man smiled and walked away, happy that he could bring a little bit of magic into this boy's life. Hey, you haven't brought any magic into my little boy life yet. Come back. Oh shit, you're right. I was getting ahead of myself there. <laughs> Good looking out, man. So anyway, uh, about this March sadness situation. Here's the thing. I play bass in this band. Um, it's like an emo pop punk uh, indie, alt rock, whatever band. Uh, I think we're called Kappa Kappa, and um, we have three shows that we're playing in March. So, like uh, you said, you have this whole month of March that you're going to be bored during. Well, I am handling three of those thirty days. The man pulled out his phone to look at his calendar. Okay, so March 10th, Sunday, you can see us playing at the uh, the Comet in Northside up on the hill. Then on March 13th, which is a Wednesday, you can go to the Motor Pub down on Main Street. Then a week and a half after that, you can see us on Friday, March 22nd, playing across the river at the Thompson House in Newport. So yeah, you're going to get to see my band three times in one month. I mean, that's way cooler than having, like, two living parents or whatever. I guess life's not such a bad place after all, huh, kid? Kid? The sad boy would not answer, for he had just died. It looks as though the car crash that many years ago had claimed the lives of his parents had finally caught up with him in the end and took his life as well. Karma. Coming to a theater near you.